Hello everyone, welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel once again today. So today's tutorial will be sewing the sleeve on the thumbnail. So if you look at that sleeve, you can see it has a flay and then it has a beautiful rose attached to it okay so now i have my basic sleeve right here so the basic sleeve i have i have here i've added my seam allowances and i've sewn the the part of the sleeve as you can see so it's ready to be attached all we need to do is to sew a rose a flay and the rose attached to it together so right here I have my sleeve from this from the sleeve head to the elbow length. Here I have 13 and a half inches. Okay, because I've already added my seam allowance. I have 14 inches, sorry. So 14 inches I have here, half inch is to sew the upper and half is to sew the lower. So at the end of the day, we'll have our, el our elbow at 13 inches. The circumference of this elbow is also 13 inches. So if on fold I have it at six and a half. As you can see so now for the flay we are going to have a little calculation to what we just measured on this sleeve so the elbow circumference is 13 inches I'm going to have a rose attached to this flay so I'm going to add extra six inches to this particular uh, measurement of the circumference so I will have an extra inches to roll my rose okay so here 13 is the elbow circumference plus 6 inches for more allowance we have 19 inches so we are going to cut our, our flay 360 degrees flay right now using the circumference of 19 inches so we are dividing by 6.28 so 19 divided by 6.28 the radius of my circle here is 3 inches okay so I'll be making use of three inches right now to cut my circle flay. So you see my paper now, I'm folding it to have that circle cutting. So I make a crease line here. I fold it once again like this. all right so i have a twist line okay so the next thing we want to determine is the length of the flay okay so the length of the flay depends on where you want the length of your sleeve to be okay so the length of the flay if i have my elbow at 13 i might decide to have my flay at 20 inches so i have one two three four five six seven inches at the length of the flay so it all depends on how wide or how big you want your flay to be so since i have the length at seven plus three inches which is the radius you are cutting you can see i have 10 inches right here so from the tip of that point i'm going to rotate my 10 inches to cut my flay so I'll rotate my 10 inches from that tip, 10 inches from that tip, 10 inches. Okay, so this is what I'm going to cut out right now to form the flay sleeve. Okay, so from here now, I'm going to take off the 3 inches, which is the radius we are going to attach to that sleeve, plus the rose allowance. So now I'm going to cut this off. Okay, so this is going to be a flare right now plus the rose. Okay, this is my flare and I've cut it out right now. So the next thing I'll do is to open up the flare. And if I open up the flare, I'm going to cut through one of the lines okay so you can see i have my flay crease lines in each part of the flay see i've opened one part of the flay so you can see the crease lines right here so i'll just use my marker to make the crease line prominent as you can see 
all right so from this open point right now i'm going to label the crease lines a b and c okay so now i'm going to make references to a b and c right now on the process of this um, uh, high low flared uh, pencil sleeve so right now i've done this i've made references on this part that is open I'm going to divide what I have here by two equal parts. Here I have seven inches and half of it is three and a half inches. So at three and a half inches right now, I'll come in here by two inches and I'll come to B by one inch and then I'll connect to nothing. Okay. So now from this point, I'm going to connect with my free hand. Can you see? So I'm going to connect to the one inch and from the one inch I'm going to connect to the last point at nothing. Okay, so this is how we are going to cut out this beautiful flip. Okay, so now I'm going to take the measurement of what we had as our circumference. Remember that the circumference of this elbow, we measured it at six and a half. As you can see, okay so this is six and a half six and a half plus six and a half is 13 inches so from this part of the flay i'm going to measure the circumference because this is the part at which we are going to attach this flay to this sleeve so here you can see my measurement at 13 inches so this is what i have at 13 inches i'll make a mark to it so at these 13 inches I have right now, I'm going to measure the half, half of what I have right here again. Here I have three and a half, so I'll just take half of it. This is what I have as, as half of it at that point. I'll make a mark. I'll come in here. I'm going to take a quarter, three quarter of an inch. Now I'll connect what I have at that point to three quarter of an inch and I'll bring it back to where the flay is uh, stopped. So if you are making an actual flay without a rose, all you are going to do is to cut your radius only at this point. But from this point, we marked the circumference of where we are going to attach our flay we are going to attach the rose so the whole of this is the attachment of the rose okay so now from this point i'm going to come in by one inch so i can blend up this line nicely i'm coming in by one and a half inch okay so i'll be able to give a very good blend at this point okay for the rose as you can see so now we are done and i'm going to cut out the necessary parts we need for this particular flower sleeve okay so at this point i'm going to cut out this i'm cutting it to meet up with what we have for the attachment of the flay so i'm taking off this we don't need it and at this point i'm going to cut through the blended part which we are going to roll into the rose to form that beautiful sleeve you are seeing on the screen right there so now i'm cutting through the new lines i made to form my place okay so now what i have right here is exactly what we are going to sew into this sleeve okay so we'll sew this into this sleeve so before we sew it i'm going to make a notch because the rose is actually going to be attached at this notch. So you can see how I kept my sleeve. This is the center front of the sleeve or the grain line. So make sure you make a notch to the grain line. Okay, so you can see the notch and that is where we are going to have that beautiful rose. So I'm going to place this pattern paper. I'm going to stay my fabric. I'll place this pattern paper the way it is. Cut both the lining and the fabric together. I'm going to stick them together. So I will show you how to sew this beautiful rose into this pencil sleeve. So now you can see I've added my seam allowances where necessary all around this uh, uh, flay. 
so i'm going to the machine now to sew okay the normal way you sew your flay uh, your flay sleeve okay so i'm i'll be staying the boats of this sleeve before i stay or you can even before i sew so you can even stay one part of it it all depends on what you want you can even decide to add a crinoline to it as well that depends but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm not making use of any crinoline here i have a detailed video on how to sew your crinoline perfectly to your peplum to your flay i'll be dropping the link on the description box below so i'll be staying i'll stitch i'm going to turn around so i'll show you how to sew this beautiful flay to this sleeve all right people so now you can see i'm done sewing my flay front and back i have the lining and the fabric and i also stayed one part of it okay so like i earlier said you can stay the boat depending on what you want and you can also sew your queen olin to it as well so now this is the notch i made which is the grain line for this sleeve can you see the notch so i'm going to start sewing my flake before I sew, please make sure you serge, you weave round to give it a, a neat finishing. So I'll be placing these parts on the part I notch to sew. Okay, so I'll sew round round till I get to the end. So the excess we have, we'll be using it to form the rose. Okay, so let me quickly sew and bring it back to show you how you can form the rose right there. All right, people so now you can see i'm done sewing my flay i started from the grain line where i notch which is the front part of this sleeve so you can see i'm done sewing this sleeve this flay right now and i have the excess to pleating so right here you can see i made some gather stitches to it so i'll be able to gather and form my rose okay so you can also pleat in your rows if you want okay so you can also gather you can also pleat it depends on what you actually wanted so now you can see me i've gathered my rows so i'm going to cut off the excess i have here so if you are pleating all you need to do is just to form the rows okay so at this point you need to be creative to form the rows so my gathers has helped me to form a little rose to it okay so if you actually need more rows to this part what you need to do is to make sure what you have on the the calculation we added six inches for the rose you can extend it to 10 inches so you have enough of this to roll your rose okay as you wish okay all right so now i'm going to give it a little tack and i'll come in with my little flower embellishment to attach to it so i'm going to sew with my needle and thread as you see me form this rose i'm going to grab it like this and stitch with my needle and thread to form this beautiful rose then after which i'll use my flower with my gum to cover up this area and we'll be done with this beautiful rose sleeve you can see what i have right here i've tacked my rose and i've used my beautiful flower patch to cover it up as you can see so like i earlier said if you need more rows for this rose just extend your rose allowance when you are drafting okay during the calculation you extend your rose allowance so you'll be able to roll and roll as you wish so now i'm going to place what we have right here on the dress form all right beautiful people so right now you can see the rose you can see the flay with its rose so like i earlier said if you need more rose if you want to form large and beautiful rose just add to the radius okay we use seven inches to form this you can make yours 10 inches or 11 inches so you have more extra inches for your rose formation okay all right so this is how to go about this beautiful sleeve all right so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week 
like this video share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well okay so thank you for coming and see you in my next video bye